Hi everyone, this is Trevor Jones from astrobackyard.com and in this video I want to talk about a new astrophotography camera, the ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro. ZWO sent me an early version of this camera about a month and a half ago to review. I was not compensated in any way, nor do they have any say of what I say to you, to my audience. Over the years, I have used a lot of cameras for astrophotography, from DSLRs to mirrorless to one-shot color to monochrome CCDs, you name it. All I want to do is take amazing deep sky photos. That is my goal. The stuff that reminds me of why I got into this hobby in the first place. Some of my all-time favorite cameras over the years have been the ZWO ASI 294, the one-shot color CMOS camera. I used that for three years and had a great time. The Canon EOS RA last year was amazing. Some of the nightscapes I was able to take with that using lenses. And then most recently the QHY 268C, which is the basically twin brother of the ASI version of the 2600 MC Pro. That camera really blew me away, especially when used with a dual band pass narrow band filter. Some of the images I took with that just blew me away at that 26 megapixel sensor. Like you all, I can get very self-conscious about the work that I create, especially when I compare it to others. I look at some of the other astrophotographers and think, man, I will never be that good. I try to use astrophotography gear that will at least give me a fair chance at an amazing image. After that, it comes down to my acquisition skills in the field and my image processing. I'm sure you can relate here. It's not that you need the latest and greatest camera model, just one that isn't holding you back in terms of hardware specs. And trust me, you'll know when you get to this point, and it's usually way down the road. One thing that's always driven me crazy was using a camera system that was either not a good fit with my optics from an image scale standpoint, or using a sensor that crops the native field of view in significantly. There's something about the idea of losing out on beautiful deep sky data simply because the sensor is too small. That really grinds my gears. That's one of the main reasons I love the RA so much, it's just that huge sensor and native field of view. I can do the cropping and post, and the types of projects I can do with a sensor like that is extensive. Then there's the one-shot color versus mono debate. Practical or not, you're missing out on some serious signal by shooting in color. By splitting the image signal into RGB on the sensor, you're sacrificing a lot of photons. Yes, it's more work, and yes, you need to invest in more filters, but seeing the data you collected in monochrome never gets old. Ask any experienced astrophotographer if they regret building a project in mono, and if it was worth the extra effort. This year, finally, a camera came out that checks all the boxes on my list. A monochrome CMOS camera with a big sensor and sharp resolution. This is the ZWO ASI 2600mm and the specs of this camera are insane. It improves on nearly every aspect of the legendary ASI 1600mm Pro from quantum efficiency to well depth. And it's a larger sensor. I don't buy cameras solely based on specs, like the Canon EOS R6 I'm using to film this video. 8K 10-bit C-Log video is great until you go to export the files on your computer and you smell smoke. My point is the ASI 2600mm Pro isn't the top of the line astronomy camera, but it's probably the best possible choice for the largest group of people. If you're into the whole photographing nebulae and galaxies thing, of course. I resist change like no one else. I love my astrophotography the way it is, and I often dismiss new gear and even new techniques that may alter my experience that I love. But there comes a time when you realize that others may be onto something and that is the difference between their image and yours. The best part is making the leap of faith isn't scary and foreign, it's actually exhilarating. I spent nearly four years avoiding hobby changing cameras like the monochrome ASI 1600mm Pro. I was convinced that I can just get my one shot camera colors to work and compete for the best results. The ASI 2600mm Pro leaves nothing on the table. I have no excuse not to step up my astrophotography game. It's all on me now.